Now, right now, I'm on a no product buy, which means that I'm trying to use up all the products that I'm using before I buy new stuff. And it's kind of hard because I'm on a no product hair buy, so I'm not buying any products. No product buy. Says who? Who said that? I said that? The rumors are true. I bought some hair products, so I want to show you guys my very mini haul of things that I bought just because I want to know what you bought. I want to know if you bought anything recently so we can share so we can share it together in this little beautiful community that we have. So the first thing I bought, and I'm going to blame it on a, a subscriber of mine. What is her name? I, I want to say it's like P Rican underscore 12. I might be wrong, but if I am right. That is what's up. But this lovely subscriber told me about a sale that Nature's Little Secret was having and I had to buy it. So the sale was throughout, I think, till May. I don't know if it's still going on right now. They have free shipping. Okay, I love free shipping. You got me there. But they were having 30% off on top of free shipping. So I bought two products because I had to. So I bought the avocado moisture cream. And you know what? I thought this was supposed to come with a pump. So let me read what the avocado moisture cream is all about. Avocado moisture cream will rehydrate, moisturize, and strengthen your hair. With this product, I just wanted to look for something that wasn't on the thinner consistency. The ingredients look very moisturizing, and I just hope that it's something that's gonna be easy to apply to my hair and not weigh it down, and that I can refresh my hair with. And the second product I bought is a flaxseed gel. This is the flaxseed curling custard. So on the website, it says right here, what does it say exactly? Let's get to the main point. It says, our handmade flaxseed curly custard will leave your hair defined, bouncy, and moisturized. No refrigeration needed. Thank you. I don't, I, I don't want to put my products in the fridge because I'm going to forget them in the fridge. Now let's look at the ingredients. So look at the ingredients, man. They're really good. Does it have coconut oil? I didn't even check that. No, I don't think it has coconut oil. Coconut. Wow, it doesn't have coconut oil. Wow. Has a lot of good things in it, so I'm excited to try it out. And the total came out to $18.20. When they're originally $14, $12 each, the total was $26, discount was $7.80, plus I had free shipping, so two products for under $20. I had to buy it, I had to. Who knows what I'm going to do a review. If I do one, I might do one on this, I might do one on both of these together. I don't know, but it's not going to be anytime soon, so you can ask me for a review, but I'm going to do it eventually, just because I want to use up what I have first. Yeah, I want to do that. So, second thing that I got was from Baskin Bloom, and there wasn't a sale on it, but I found a coupon for $2 off, so I was like, yo, I'm, I found a sale. And this is the edge control. Now, I mentioned in one of my videos, I think it was the empties. Was it the empties? No, 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 I did it on my Instagram story. You were telling me, Brand, that you wanted me to try out next, and I mentioned this, so I got it. This right here is a Baskin Bloom watermelon watermelon seed edge control pomade and i'm always looking for a new edge control so that's something that i'm excited for let me open this up so it looks like this a regular edge control now does it smell like watermelon i don't know does it smell like watermelon kind of not not really but it smells good i don't think it smells like watermelon but i'm not mad at the scent it smells very good Okay, so it says healthier way to smooth roots and edges. Smoothes edges and roots, holds twists, braids, and locks while retaining and stimulating growth. Add shine and gentle for daily use. So the ingredient list really got me here. You know, I love that castor oil. It has watermelon seed oil. It has sunflower oil, horsetail extract. So I'm just hoping that it gives me enough hold to keep my hair in place when I do high buns. Since I'm showing you guys new products that I got, I won a giveaway by Product Junkie Natural. So I'm going to show you what I got, which was a bunch of lotions. I love lotions, so thumbs up. Ooh, I'm tired already. There's only, there's only four minutes. The bottle? Yeah, that. Um, so Product Junkie Natural, they had a giveaway back in December, and I finally got the products. Now, I got four lotions, but right now I have three because one of it is somewhere else. And these are what the lotions look like, some body butter. Now, I'm going to keep it real. The sounds of these lotion, it's not my cup of tea. One of it says Snickerdoodle Cookies. One of it says Pumpkin Crunch Cake. And the next one says sweet potato and brown sugar body cream. Now they sound delicious to eat, but I don't really care for a super sweet like bakery scent, either like on my hair products or on my body. So that's or on a candle. Or on a candle. Like I don't I don't like that in a candle. So hopefully hopefully it's cool, but um scent wise, 
Samwise is not my cup of tea, but when I look at the ingredients, it's raw shea butter, mango butter, vitamin E. I can't really see the rest of it cause just because it's cut off by the other part of the label. But it has really good ingredients. This brand does not use coconut oil, so I'm a fan of that. So now let me go ahead and share with you some products that I want to try out next. One is the shampoo. Now you know, you know that I love a good shampoo and... I found one that I really want to try out next. So when I use the Eco Slay Peppermint Schnapps Up, that's the shampoo that I'm currently using at the moment, I am buying this one right here. So this is by Curly Temple, and it's the Black Tea Scalp Cleanser. Cleanser. Very good. So this is what the ingredient list is looking like. Like, look at this ingredient list. Black tea, aloe leaf juice, apple cider vinegar, black soap. This purifying scalp cleanser focuses on the hair follicles, which also needs attention. The scalp treatment utilizes plant-derived cleansing ingredients such as black tea, black pepper, and black soap, which provide a gentle yet effective cleanse. I'm buying this. I don't care. I'm buying this. So when I finish up with the peppermint snap, this is going to be my next shampoo. Now, another product that I was looking at that I was like, oh, it looks pretty interesting is by Aunt Jackie. Can you believe I'm, I'm interested in an Aunt Jackie product? This right here is a Butter Fusion Collection. And it's just a bunch of hair butters. It's not hair butter. It's a um, hair mask. So they have an avocado protein mask, a blackberry and castor hair growth mask, acai and honey thermal repair mask, and the almond milk and shea butter moisture mask. So let me go ahead and I'll click on the avocado one. I don't. I think this is only available online. I don't think you can get it in stores. But this is what the ingredient list is looking like. So far, I'm not seeing any silicone in it, but the ingredient list looks really good, and it looks like it's going to be on the nice, creamier side. Yeah, it says, this buttery conditioning mask is free of drying alcohol that rob hair of moisture and mineral oil. This is excellent moisture and conditioning therapy for all hair types and texture. So, that sounds really good. I'm interested in this. If I can find it in stores, that is lovely if I can find it in stores. I know one of you guys mentioned that you like when I, like, more vlog styles, you like when I actually talk. So, that's what I'm going to do. Let me tell you about my week. So I've been working from home and it's very hard to get that balance. Today is Saturday. Yesterday when I was at work, I was responding to an email and I was like, you know what? I'll respond to the email tomorrow. And then I realized, yo, tomorrow is Saturday. I feel like because I'm working so much from home and I don't leave the house at all, I just wake up work, wake up work. So the fact that it's Saturday and I'm not working, it feels really, it feels really weird. It like, feels relaxing. It feels relaxing, but I, I, I still feel like, damn, I should probably answer some emails. But I'm like, yo, it's the weekend. Like, I don't have to answer emails. Exactly. I feel like you need to go to someone else's house to work from home. Yeah, I, I need to, like, get out of my house because it's in my room. So as soon as I wake up, I just, I go to work. You I don't even eat. Room. I just go to work. Because my sleep schedule has been all messed up. I'm going to sleep at 2 and I'm waking up at 9. So, I don't know, man. Let me know down below, like, if you're working from home and if you're having, like, a hard time balancing it. Or if you have any tips on what you do to, like, separate I know the it. Tip. Let me know. They're going to say go to a different room. They're going to say go to a different room. And I'll be like, I don't want to. I don't want to. I like I like my room. No, but if you have a, like, if you have a good tip, let me know. He's been seeing me get frustrated at work, stressing I know, I'm so out. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I know. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, Wednesday, I felt like crying. I don't know. And, like, it's because I, I was so, I was stuck on one part of work and it was like I was 15 minutes over like I was supposed to be done with work at a specific time and it was like 15 minutes later and I was still working and I was just feeling like very overwhelmed very stressed but you don't have to be like I, where I work they're like oh no it's fine like yeah it's but you fine put it on yourself I put it on myself like yo I want to finish it and like one of my co-workers was like oh if I don't finish I'll let you guys know but I'm always gonna finish so like I want I want it I want that mentality I want to always finish but like you don't have to. Just work at your own pace. Do your best. As long as you do your best, that's cool. And that's what I like. You do your best. So I don't want to finish. Breathe. Yeah. What should they comment down below? Oh, yeah. If you're watching this video to this part, you should leave a comment down below stating... Comment down below your favorite fruit. Say, my favorite fruit is blank. My favorite fruit is blank. So do that so that, you know, I know that you've been watching to this part of the video. So let me know down below what are some products that you want to try out next or what are some products that you have bought recently because... You know, I said I was a no product hair buy and I ended up buying some. So let me know if you are on the same boat as me. Let's chat down below. Now, one thing I want to say is if you guys ever want me to try a brand out or review anything, I love when you tell me this, but also let the brands know as well. Like if they have anything on the Instagram, for example, they're like, oh, I would love Elizabeth to review this. Tag me there. That way they can see that, you know, hey, like who's Elizabeth? Let's see. Let's see what she's about. 
because you know I'm trying I'm trying to to grow so if you could help me grow I would appreciate that I don't know, just food for thought, food for thought. If you ever want me to review something, yeah, definitely tag me in it. Let the brands know, like, yo, Elizabeth can definitely review this. Elizabeth be showing some good reviews, so, I don't know. Let me know what products you have bought down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.